All we need to do, we need to give him a fish. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> the captain Breno said we were jumping onto this island and he said a lot of the people hasn't seen whiting before. Uh, people with white skin. And he said just yeah, a few people might be a bit wary of us. Really not knowing what to expect, but we're walking up this goat track now, up to what I assume the village. They're yelling in our face things. We have no idea what it means. The, well, yeah, these guys, not too long ago, probably their granddads and fathers might have been the last of the can cannibals. Hopefully they were the last. So we're walking up to a boiling pot on top of this hill and chanting to our own boil up. <laughs> I'm starting to think that coral trout I shot might have been the most important fish we've ever taken. fish we were collecting this morning out the front of home reef is an offering here to the villagers a massive thank you for having us here this morning thank you so much thank, you. thank you thank you that's the first display of their culture they've ever given to a group of tourists the six of us and they were saying how they want more exposure for the rest of the world to come here and experience um, their spirit their tradition their rituals and their culture feel very, very honoured. Boys, how are we feeling? That was unbelievable. That was so special. Mate, it's just amazing for them to share that rich culture with us. A couple of nobodies from Australia that just brought us in. They've gone above and beyond. Thank you. Thank you, Tomas. Thank you. Thank off this drop over literally in 100 metres of water. It's about two metres. <laughs> Angry man and weaponry as we're leaving, so I guess we made a good impression. Yeah. Yeah. 